Alright, we're with Kaylin Holmes, Natalie Geisler, after Southeast Warren moves on in thrilling fashion over Wayne. Uh, ladies, I mean, what a game. I can only imagine what's going through your mind right now. Uh, Kaylin, we'll start with you. How are you feeling? I feel, it's amazing. We came here last year, didn't do so great, and to come here this year and win first game, it's just the best feeling. Natalie, I, I could tell right after the game you had all kinds of emotion. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that right now. I could hardly keep it together on the field, but I knew I just had to focus and get through that last inning. Um, I've played here four years in a row, and I've just been waiting for that opportunity, and I finally hit well. I haven't hit well in a while. Talk about, you know, kind of the roller coaster of a game like this. Obviously, you know each other really well, uh, look pretty evenly matched. How do you mentally try to work through a game like this? It was really hard to stay focused for me anyways, but I just knew for the team we had to just keep going. Even though I had an error, I knew I just had to keep going. We said from the beginning, if we make an error or like hit a home run off the air, I walk someone, we just can't get down. We have to stay up because we get only get one chance at the game. <laughs> And I'm so happy Kaylin finally got the opportunity to pitch here because she hasn't really gotten an opportunity, but this year she finally did, and she deserves it. Kaylin, I mean, you give up a couple of solo homers, and I mean, they've got some phenomenal hitters, so that'll happen. But how did you, I mean, I think up until the sixth inning, those were like the only hits they had. How did you mentally just put that away and move on? I know they have some really great hitters, and we got one of them out. We got one out of three, so... I mean, it's better than we could have done, and they're going to hit home runs. It's just awful. They were threatening a couple times late. Uh, you know, at one point they had a runner, had runners on second and third. What did you have to do to, to clamp down and get out of those innings? I know I just have to throw strikes, and if they hit it, my defense is there. So that's really what I think. Natalie, uh, let's talk about the, the double that ultimately wins it. What did you see? Uh, what was kind of the mentality you had at the plate there? Um, Cody just said hit it to the right side, and I knew I needed to get it on the ground and Lexi would score because she always hustles. So. In the moment, I mean, a hit like that, a moment like that, how, how does that feel? What's the feelings there? Oh, I just always have a lot of emotion, so it was hard to keep it in, but I knew I just had to focus and pay attention until that inning was over. Uh, I mean, this is... You know, a team that had your guys' number you know, throughout the year, and now you're on to a semifinal. Uh, I mean, what, what are the thoughts on that? I mean, we're here. Let's just win the whole thing. Yep. Maybe That's the, the goal. First game. Yes. Make it all the way now. Hey, ladies, awesome job tonight. Thank you. All right, Coach. Uh, I mean, wow, what a win tonight. Uh, it's probably hard to even put into words this game, but I'm going to ask you to do so. How are you feeling afterwards? Oh, feel unbelievable. Feel unbelievable coming into this game. You know, we knew it was Wayne. We knew, you know, they have a great team. Obviously, they're ranked second in state for a reason. Um, you know, and, the, and this is two in a row for us, just nail biters down to the wire games. And it really speaks volumes about our kids, you know, coming off the – um, the regional final game with, with J.C. hitting home run in the bottom of the seventh. Kalen pitched in an unbelievable game there. It's almost the same thing here, um, you know, just a little bit different. We gave up two solo home runs. Um, you know, one Kalen missed on, you know, left it fat right down the middle. The other one was a great pitch that, um, you know, the girl hit out of the park. You know, we gave it, those, those were the two runs that they got was two solo home runs. I tell the girls, you know, we can give up some home runs as long as there's nobody on base. Um, you know, and, and this is awesome. I mean, it doesn't get any better, um, you know, than, than take down Wayne and, um, you know, in an environment like this and the stakes are high. I mean, the, the kids are on cloud nine. We're excited. You know, obviously we're in the top four now and, um, you know, we put ourselves in a position to do something here. Kind of along those lines, you know, last year you come up here with very, very high expectations and it doesn't go the way you guys want it to. And then you draw a very familiar opponent. Does it make it mean a little bit more with those elements factored into it? Yeah, and I don't know if that helps us out or not. You know, we were, I was talking to some people, and it's like, I don't know if we're better off to know the team or not know the team. You know, and I, I, I kind of came to the conclusion that it's almost better to know them. Um, you know, we didn't know anything about Clarksville last year. We came in here highly ranked as a three seed, you know, somewhat of a, a, a chance to win the whole tournament last year. Um, you know, and this year was a completely different thing coming in to the season unranked. You know, um, no, the, nobody gave Kaylin credit for what she's capable of doing. Um, and, and obviously she's proven a lot of doubters wrong. Um, you know, and, and our lineup's been from top to bottom. You know, we struck out a little too much today, and, and we'll hopefully get that corrected going into the semifinals. Um, but the season as an overall, I mean, the kids have bought into the process, and they're doing a great job. You mentioned, you know, Kaylin, you look at, like, the strikeout numbers tonight, not flashy at all, but, you know, I think they only had two hits going into, like, the six. 
Yeah. What'd you like from her? Well, she did a great job keeping off balance. I will, you know, one thing, if I want to change something right now, and I hate to pick on her because she put us in a position to win a game, but we got to clean up the change up a little bit. We just have to be more consistent with it just to keep the hitters off balance. Once we do that, she's going to get even better as this tournament goes on. Um, you know, and that's just getting hit picky. On, a, on and I and I hate to do that, but on, on a game that after we just came off a game like this, where where everybody's excited, community's pumped up, um, you know, and, and moving forward, you know, if she if she continues to do that, um, you know, we got a great chance to win in the semifinals too. And for somebody like Natalie Geisler, who's been a big part of this program over the last couple of years, to come through like she did in extra, so what can you say about that? Oh, it was awesome. She, I don't know if I've seen her hit two harder balls all season long, and that's that's no joke. Um, you know, she's she's honestly kind of struggled for the last couple weeks too. You know, and to, and to get in a moment like this, you know, facing better competition, ba better pitchers is where Natalie kind of shines. Um, and like I said, uh, she, she squared up two balls really well. In my opinion, as far as the offense concerned, she's our MVP today, and Kalen's our MVP on defense. I mean, those those two kids as seniors stepped up, put us in a position to win a game, and we did it. 2022, you guys were right there. 2023 came in thinking you had a shot. You know, this is a team that you mentioned maybe coming the year. A lot of people didn't think you guys would be here. Does that maybe make you guys a little bit more loose and, and relaxed? Or, I mean, where, where's the mentality? Yeah, we've used it as motivation all season long, and maybe we lost some after the midseason loss or when we beat Martinsdale in the midseason. I think after that, we kind of lost that mojo a little bit. Um, but coming into the state tournament, we can kind of refocus on that same thought process. You know, with Wayne being the two, us being the seven, nobody thought we could win. You know, obviously when we lost two years ago in the sim or in the state finals to Twin Cedars, they came in as a six seed, if I if memory serves me correct. You know, and we're coming in as a seven. You know, the girls have talked; they're they're pumped up. They were ready to go for. They've been ready to go for a week for this game. Um, it really didn't take much motivation, but the, you know, the motivation I used was. You know, we lost to Twin Cedars. They were a six seed. We're a seven. We can do the same thing. We just have to play good softball. Natalie, I think her line was, you know, we're here. We might as well go win it. Uh, the, the next step to that is tomorrow night. What do you guys have to do to make that happen? Well, we just have to play good softball, as I just said there a second ago. I mean, Kalen, the one thing that's very consistent with our team is Kalen's going to pitch the ball well, and we're going to play fairly clean defense. Um, it really comes down to our hitting in the semifinal game. I mean, we're, Kalen's going to throw well. We're going to pick it well on, on the de defensive side. And it really comes down to our bats. I mean, as you saw tonight, we only put up three runs. I'm really trying to play for four to five a game because she hasn't hardly given up five runs all season. So if we can figure out a way to score four or five, um, we got a great chance of moving on to the finals. Congrats, Coach. Thank you.